and we back! Do y'all want to see the most perfect NBA team ever constructed? That's one heck of a way to start out this video. The goal is to make the most perfect team because we're doing the 0 and 3 challenge. What it is is that we make the playoffs, hope hopefully. Now, I don't know if I ever made a challenge that didn't make the playoffs, but we make the playoffs, hopefully, and then we're going to start every series down 0 3. And when I say it's the perfect team, well, it's because if you lose one more game in any playoff series, the challenge is over. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below your Twitter because for every challenge we failed in NBA 2K23, I'm giving away a jersey to one of y'all, and Twitter is the way I hit you up. Last week, we gave a Davion Mitchell jersey to Sam, and someone else got a Steph Curry one. So, yeah, I don't want to fail any more challenges, so I'm going to lock in and try to create the perfect team. Today's video is brought to you by SeatGeek. Hit the link in the description to use code Kenny so they can give you $20 off your first purchase of tickets. I've been in a lot of sporting events in my lifetime, and I've always bought tickets on Siggy. Here's the footage of me and the guys at a Cubs game earlier this season. The Cubs end up losing that game, but that doesn't matter to me. Let me show you how easy it is to buy tickets. Let's say we want to go to see the Sacramento Kings play a Game 7. We don't know if we even get a Game 7, but if we were, this is the place to get the tickets. Me personally, I like to sort by deal score because it just tells you what the best seat is in the house. And it's, it's a lot of money in this case. This is a game seven in Sacramento. But if you want to save money on a sporting event, go see the Chicago White Sox because the best deal in the house is almost a perfect 10. You can get into the, bo the ballpark for 60 bucks or uh, for, for four. Four. Four, four dollars. I've used it for sporting events, but it's way deeper than that. They got concerts, they got Broadway, they got comedy. If you need a ticket, SeatGeek probably got it. So hit the link in the description, man. Download SeatGeek and use code Kenny so you can get $20 off your first purchase of tickets. Let us randomly select our team. We're going to stop in three, in two, and in one. We're running with the Milwaukee Bucks. I guess they do need a little bit of luck after what just happened to them. Um, Milwaukee Bucks are going to have pick number 13. Okay, great. Pick number 13 is going to get us somebody really good. Now, would that really good player stay on the team for the entire of this video? I don't know. This is one of those videos where I am trying to put together a 10-man, oh, maybe a 9-man rotation of elite-level players because the margin of error is zero. There's, there's, there's no room for it. So, our Milwaukee Bucks are going to have to be like three superstars and a couple more all-stars and some other stuff and the right coach. And the, and the right coach goes along. You know what? We're doing it right now. Even though, and actually, in-game Bud is, is really nice. So I might keep Bud around. Let's see what our team looks like. It's Z. It's JB. It's Anthony. It's James. They drafted a really young team, which is great for us. I wonder what these draft cap, what this draft capital look like. Please be useful. Please be useful. One and a half star? This team is young as heck. All right. Um, Zion is not the guy. Zion is not the guy that's going to be the captain of our team. For a, a, we ba this is basically a 16 and 0 challenge. You got to get to the playoffs and win 16 straight games. So Zion is not my guy for that. Three and a half star for Wiseman. Zion's got perfect value. Jalen Brunson's got four star value. Three and a half star for Anthony Simons. Quinn Grimes got three star. They drafted a really young team, which is cool. I'm gonna try right off rip and see what this does. I'm just curious of what the value of Zion is on the market. There's John Moran, Bradley Beal. Uh, John Morant and Bradley, I mean, John Morant and Zion have the same overall in game. So it's not that big of a difference. Here's Jimmy Butler and Mikael Bridges. That's not too bad. But Jimmy Butler's contract is so massive that it is bad. You know, if we're going to build a roster that has so many star players, we need some smaller contracts in there. Jimmy, not that. And, and Kawhi Leonard is there as well. Similar situation, 92 overall, big contract. If I'm trading Z, which I think we are, it's for one of the top 7 to 10 guys in the league. Somebody that's in this range of a Wardell, Stephen Curry. Who's the cheapest guy that fits that? I mean, Joel Embiid is making 33 million. Giannis is at 42. KD is at 43, 44. Braun is 44. Um, Jimmy's, Jimmy's 37 is actually not that bad when compared to the other people around the league with similar overalls. Shea is at 30. Same thing with Tatum. I think I go after Tatum first um, and see what that looks like. We'll give you John Isaac. They're going to say no. We would also give you Quentin, Quentin Grimes. I don't know why I phonetically just pronounce Quint, Quentin Gr no, it's Quint Grimes. They say no, as, as they should. I'll give you James Wiseman because he's super valuable. You give us back Josh, and then now we throw two first-round picks. If this ain't the deal, then we might have to do a couple deals to get the deal. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and do this potentially. And the deal is done. When did we give up? Was it a lot? It was Z. It was Isaac and two first-round picks. That's not bad. Jason Tatum is the star of our team. Now we need the budget star. You know, the really, really good player that ain't making a ton of money. We got Tatum, who's on his max. It's a, it's a $30 million max, which ain't that crazy. 
but we need the guy that's still on his rookie deal that's elite, like John Morant, or Zion fits for that too, but like John Morant. John Morant's making $12 million a year. If we can have John Morant and Jason Tatum on the same team, I think we'd be in a good spot. He might be just slightly too valuable, so we might have to, Sabonis don't really, I mean, Tyrese Halliburton is that to a T. Oh, so maybe Tyrese is our guy. I mean, he's making $4 million. That's like the definition of still being on your rookie deal. Um, I'm going to try, of course, to go get John Morant first because he's the best player available. But like Brunson and, and Anthony Simons, our two biggest trade pieces, are both uh, making a lot of money compared to John Morant. And with our picks being not anything, it's going to be real tough to get John. You know what? No, it's not. What am I doing? What am I talking about? This is one of those challenges where we're going to do everything that we got to do. So if I got to do 26 trades to get our draft capital up, I'm going to do my 26 trades. That's what we own today. I will not fail this challenge. So that might be the famous last words before I do fail the challenge. I don't know. But look, boom, Tristan Thompson, welcome to the team. But we also got a first round pick there. We might do that a few more times with guys like uh, Saban Lee and PJ Dozier who are both young-ish. They, they ain't got a lot of value across the league. Boom, Ben McLemore, welcome. All right, so we just got an additional two first round picks. Is that gonna be enough for John Moran? $12 million. Uh, they are over the cap by a good amount. They got some, they got some really, really big contracts on their team. That makes it tough. All right, so we give them Brunson, who I would want to keep, but in this world, we have to give him away. You know, this is OD. And they're considering themselves championship favorites. I mean, the only way financially it makes sense is if we get Miles back, too. But Miles is really, really good. So I don't think they're going to ever budge, even if we give them the four first round picks that we could potentially give them. This trade package is not going to be good enough. I want, if I did reverse trade finder, probably won't work. They probably want Jason Tatum again. And I, I, I just traded a lot to get Tatum. So. Maybe Jaw's not our guy. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I want to like try to make an identity pick. Like, oh, this is all about defense. So should we just go get bucket getters? Go get real good bucket getters. I don't know. I'm going to try to get Devin Booker next. Um, if we can't get him, that's okay. But I think it's worth trying. You give us back Gary Harris, they're going to say no because Book is really good. But that's why we got these extra four first round picks that don't mean anything to us. So there's two no good. There's three no good. And there's four... And he's not there. All right. So now we are realizing that Jalen Brunson and Anthony Simons to alone or together isn't good enough. So we're going to throw Jalen Brunson in one of these picks in the trade finder. And it's going to give us somebody that's in the 90 overall club, right? Somebody close and Tyrese. Another somebody close in De'Aaron Fox. We're going to do the De'Aaron Fox deal. Uh, they also gave us a first round pick back for that. So I, I mean, I'll just take an extra first. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to throw that same exact baggage into a trade finder again. There's Kawhi Leonard, um, which is clutch as heck. Not to keep him, but... As a trade piece, having Kawhi Leonard, and they're they're giving us a first too. So like Kawhi Leonard now with a PJ is PJ Tucker value, but let's see, and a first round pick could get us Z back, could get us Bam and Demar. This is there's there's Braun Tatum and Braun. If I do if I do Tatum and Braun, and then go get Tyrese Halliburton for that young rookie contract player, that'll be kind of nice, bro. Anybody else that makes sense? There's Jason Tatum and Pascal Siakam. That's kind of insane as well but i want arguably the greatest player of all time he's past his prime but but we go if what if i trade find oh there's luca there's Giannis. there's luca uh i'm sorry braun okay hey, listen 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 i'm only doing this trade now because luca sim simulation luca is a whole different monster you know that okay this ain't no indication that i think you know what i'm saying it's based on 2k challenges all right I got to say that in case LeBron be watching these videos. He's not. Um, Luka Doncic. We just traded up to get Luka and Jason Tatum together. Now, what if I do Luka in the trade finder? There's our John Morant pick. There's Jokic. There's Giannis. Um, there's Embiid. Yeah, so it's the same five players over and over. Okay, so now we go get... We have to go get... Um, do we? I said I was thinking we have to go get Tyrese Howard. Does it make more sense to have... No, what? You know what? Forget it. Go get talent. Go get talent. Go get talent. Stop overthinking it. Go get talent. I'm actually going to trade for Pascal for now. Uh, I'm not saying he's safe at all, but uh, I, I, I wanted to get Pascal for the contract mostly. But this is going to be enough to get us Tyrese. Tyrese is easy to trade for in game because if this ain't enough, then we'll just go build, get, go give them three first round picks plus Trey Murphy, and that's going to be enough. So let's go find Tyrese. Dog, soon as Tyrese gets an extension, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough because he's been one of our staple pieces in this cycle of 2K because he is so valuable in simulation and he's on that such a small contract that is he's like the perfect uh, point guard for, for a lot of these videos um oh oh they being stingy out here I, I understand it i understand it but okay it happened perfect so right now we got tatum luca and tyrese halliburton that is our top three players 
And the rest of the team... Oh, we also got Pascal. I kind of I, I kind of overlooked that. We also have Pascal Siakam, which is dope. But again, I don't think Pascal stays and lasts for the entirety of this video. Because um, I feel like once we get more first-round picks, him and those picks is going to get us a center. Because I'm thinking center now. Elite-level center. Because uh, I'm seeing Halley at the 1, Luke at the 2, Tatum at the 3 or 4, and then a really, really good center. Uh, but now we got to go get first round picks like this one from the Sacramento Kings lottery protected But a pick is a pick another first round pick in Sam Hauser shout out to Sam Hauser um, He's he's a, he's an NBA player. Key Alexander Walker had a really really good last couple games um, in the playoffs So shout out to him. So now we got three extra first round picks to mess around with so if I go and add uh, Pascal Siakam in a pick one of these uh, lottery protected picks we should be a I'm thinking BAM but I wouldn't be against somebody else because it feels like Bam has been the guy here for us some time. But Bam's defensive versatility makes it so that he's really tough not to trade for. He's available. He was not available. So I'm going to hold on to Pascal Siakam for the foreseeable future. I'm not against Pascal staying around. I just thought that he was going to be an extra trade piece. Um, but instead, he's not. Trade for Drummond and the extra pick. Drummond is slightly higher overall than the two people you're trading away. And then that first round pick is top 10 protected instead of lottery protected. Uh, there's J-Dub, but instead I'm going to trade for another Rookie of the Year candidate. They really want that pick. Okay, I'll give it to him. Kind of need defense, don't we? Defense on the wings outside of Tatum. A-plus defense for Mikel Bridges. 11 defensive badges. And we get Vucevic, who we potentially trade away. I also saw this. I think this trade makes more sense. I'm going to do it, but we, we are flipping Drew for sure. Um, and hopefully we can dr flip Drew for Mikel. And I think it's the best of both worlds. And he played on this team. Patrick Williams and Vucevic are still together. That's crazy. Um, Kel Bridges and Jimmy Butler on the team. That's, that team is kind of crazy. Uh, we got to get a, a player back so you can just give us Josh, who we just traded away. Oh, it's got to be making over $8 million. Okay. So uh, we take Alec Burks back. They say no. Do we have any extra picks? Oh, I used them all. Okay. No big deal. They want Greg Brown to give us Jalen Smith uh, back. Boom. So now our lineup is like Luke at the two. At the three, we have Mikhail, and at the four, we got Tatum, and then right now, we got Rob as the five. Can't say that Rob is completely safe, but if we want to keep him around, I feel pretty good about it. Our star lineup is all-star-ish, with some people that have potential to be an all-star, and a guy that's not an all-star, but all-defensive caliber player when he's completely healthy, and in this universe, there's no such thing as an injury, so he ain't safe now. He ain't safe. I'm trading for Larry Marketing. I know, I know, I know. Kenny, he's always upset. I found the remedy. I know how to prevent him from being upset. He's going to be a super six man, by the way. He's not starting. Yeah, I hope you ain't expect me to have him uh, starting at the center position or starting over something, Jason Tatum or something. Nope, nope. But we do have another all-star caliber player now coming off our bench, which is cool. We got to figure out our starting five. Um, and I mean that in like the center position. But that's why we out here signing Luke Cornette and stuff to get more draft capital so we can find that five. I think there's still a world where it is Robert Williams III. Um, we might trade back for him because, again, he's a cheaper guy. Um, and he's really good. Crazy I'm doing all of this. And just one bad game. One bad game ends the challenge of the nail. Okay, so we have the contracts of Alex Caruso is about $10 million. We got this one in the Kells and the Walker or uh, Bruce Brown here. So that's about $15 million. And if we add all three of them together, it's closer to $20 million which is dope, um, and that is that would be enough for us to go get Robert Williams back if we wanted to. Again, I don't know if we if that's the right move, but it's a move for sure. Um, I just got to fill out our roster real quick, and then let's go around the league and figure out what the center position for the low is. Like, you know, Sabonis is an option. I don't know how good he is in 2K simulation, but he's making around the amount of money we talking about uh, trading. We do got Brooke Lopez, who's making 13.9. Um, you know what? No, Brick Lopez doesn't translate. And I told y'all in the video two weeks ago that I will, ooh, Jared Allen. I would never trade for that man again, at least in NBA 2K23. And I'm going to stick by my word as long as I remember, because I can't promise I'm going to remember. But bro, bro, shot like 0 for 9 in the game 7. I'm, no, we, don't, we ain't here for that. Jared Allen, who plays for the Celtics, um, is an interesting player. He's an interesting player for what we want to do. So let's go talk to the C's about uh, JA, JA7. JA7? JA. The fro. What did I get seven? For? I don't know. Contractually, this makes sense. Um, and we got three extra first round picks to make it happen. Yep, we'll give them all if we need to make it happen. You're seven and Jared Allen not coming to the team. All righty. All right. I see, I see what you're talking about. Larry Marketing, what's, what's your value? I'm sorry to, to like go on a different tangent. But what's your value across the league? Not as high as I wanted it to be. So he's probably here to stay. Um, I'd probably trade Alice Caruso 
and Bruce Brown with one of these picks to get some uh, individual player that's better. I'll trade for Mitchell Robinson right now. He can be one of the main trade pieces. He's making $17 million, which is cool. Teams are getting kind of stingy with those first round picks all of a sudden. It didn't take long, but it, it, you know, it's happening. Trading for, for Robert Williams and Jeremy Grant. Um, Jeremy's making 20 M's. You know what, I'm putting it back together. That's $30 million. You can't tell me BAM is not gonna pop up, right? Yeah, I, exactly. You can tell me BAM wasn't gonna pop, pop up. Now, is it worth it? We kind of lose in depth here, obviously. Or we could get Brooke. I said I wasn't, but we could get Brooke and Draymond. But Draymond's 25 million don't showcase in his production. So you know what, no. BAM Adebayo, welcome to the team. Our starting lineup is potentially set. We have an all-star coming off the bench as well. Now we need, again, I think if we run a smooth eight to nine, man, we're going to be good. This eight through, uh, this seven through nine is not good enough. Um, so we got we got a few more trades to do. The super unfortunate part about that is our bigger contracts are now gone. Kobe White's seven million is the, is the biggest contract we got. So this next trade has to be for Jordan Poole. Is Jordan Poole the missing piece to our bench? Because right now we got Larry Marketer and Jeremy Grant, right? Or oh, did we just trade Jeremy Grant? I'm already forgetting. Um, either way, that scoring could definitely come in handy. Out of all of the trades, this is the best one. Uh, no, we trade. We traded away Jeremy. Right? Stupid. Um, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Our bench right now is Larry Marketing, and it's gonna be Jordan Poole. Uh, it's a pool party, ladies and right. gentlemen. Booyah, baby! We knew it was gonna happen. Desmond Bain is one of the dudes that you 100% need on your team if you need somebody that's gonna play for cheap. Two million dollars. That is a huge backup uh, shooting guard. I guess Poole is a point guard in game. I kind of don't want Jordan Poole anymore because we got Desmond Bain. Am I crazy? Uh, let's see. I mean, the contract is so small that no, we're not going to get somebody back that's going to match that production, I guess. So hypothetically, we could have our backup unit be Bain, Markinen, and then Kessler. I'm doing it, bro. I'm doing it. I do believe that the rebound plays that much of a factor in the series, so I'm doing it. And our point guard position is, is Luka and Tyrese, you know? We don't need an elite level backup PG. Now we do need something, but it ain't it just ain't gotta be elite. So I honestly think I could get Jordan Poole back potentially. He's only making three million dollars. All we need is a, like three first round picks and a random player. We could probably get it done. And maybe I still will. Or maybe not, because the GMs aren't offering first round picks like they were. I I see y'all y'all that we come hip to the plan. I respect, I respect it. There's only so many first round picks I can steal from an organization without before they start to raise their eyebrows. And right now we got zero. None of them. We can't even get one out here. Uh, so that makes it uh, a little bit tougher. It's a really good first round pick. Unprotected. Um, it's going to come in handy because we're going to do boom, boom, and then the first. This is the one. This is the one to get us that backup point guard we've been waiting for. Uh, he's not popping up. Yes, he is. Boom. We, see, we do this. We do this. All right. I think we got a really, really good nine-man rotation under Coach Bud, and maybe that's something that we got to look out for. Um, let me make sure everybody, everybody has a secondary position. I don't care who you are. And I'll be honest with you, once we get to the playoffs, Luka's getting all the minutes. Jason Tatum's getting all the minutes. Like, we need that. This is one of the better teams we put together for sure. Don't like that give him wearing number 17. Um, but you got to roll the punches. Uh, game one of this season is against the 76ers, and we lost. Great. If this was in the playoffs, the series has ended. Um, the video has ended. Growing pains, y'all. Is this a good sign? Because I think it is. Luka wins MVP. John Wall's expanded here again. We had him on the team. Uh, Shingo, we decided not to have on the team. We 73-9, ladies and gentlemen. Half of the best team in the history of basketball. So if we get to the finals, they win the finals. Unlike the other team that set that record. Um, Milwaukee uh, doesn't get any love on the defensive teams, but Luka's carrying us as far as All-NBA and any awards. So... Right off rip, um, oh, if you care about stats, boom, there we go. Tatum averaged 28 almost, and then here's the rest. Um, right off rip, we are shortening rotation completely. I am shortening it to just eight. Ah, do we get rid of Walk, bro? He needs to get some backup center minutes, right? I'm, I'm giving it down to five. And then we doing 43 minutes here. Uh-huh. And then, like, we got to take some minutes away from these dudes. Also, Larry Markin not upset anymore. I didn't even change. I, I forgot to change the stuff I was supposed to change. Not upset. So give him more minutes. Give Tatum more minutes and get Bam some more minutes. All right. First round of our playoffs is going to be against the Indiana Pacers. The Pacers have Lonzo, Jason Tatum, Lou Dort, and then the two bigs that we gave them earlier in the video. Uh, I don't know how many trades we end up doing. 
but we did a lot. So I'm assuming that no matter what round we go into, we're going to go against some former uh, teammates of ours. But this is what we got to do. To start off 0-3, we forced the win for the opposing team. And now we now the series starts. Now the series starts. No team has ever in the history of basketball come back from down 0-3 until today. Here we go. First game is in uh, Indianapolis. That don't fare well. But the drive between Indianapolis and Milwaukee... It's only a handful of hours, so maybe we can pack the house with our fans, too. It looks like we're going to be winning this one and force a game six. All right, at game six, we back in Milwaukee with it. Home court advantage, home fans. We put up 41 points in that first quarter. That's a, that's it, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's it. That's done. Oh, now we force a game six. I, I math, math be kicking my butt. Now we force a game six, and one more of these, we go to a game seven um, on our home court. This is That's where home court advantage starts. Boom. Yeah, this team was no match for us. We got one more game, but every game we simcast and we, <laughs> we blow these boys out. There's a reason why we were 73-9 and nine and they were not. I don't know what their record was, but it won 73-9. and nine. It was significantly worse. That's how you become a playing team. Uh, they low-key putting up some fight in this game seven. Oh, not anymore. They, they were putting up some fight into that game seven. Cool. Tatum Elite. Luka Elite. Halley with a double-double. That's good basketball, boys. Next round, I'm going against the Washington Wizards. Who have Joel and Bead and Clay? Ah, we gonna get a game six Clay. We, we gonna get a game six Clay performance, and that's gonna be the end of the video. All right, let's force them their three wins. I always feel like I'm gonna misclick, so I just like try to be very deliberate with my movement. Force win, Washington Wizards sim through game, and now just like that, we are down 0-3 again, and it is time to simcast. Joel and Bead should be good enough to take one of four in any series. Uh, okay. There we go. Fight back, boys. I like where this is going. Uh, okay. It's it's good. We're good. That But that don't make me feel great. And that wasn't even a good Joel Embiid game. It wasn't even a good Joel Embiid game. But it wasn't a good game for anybody on our team. Okay. All right. Um, we lose the first quarter again. But we win the half. I'm stressing. Because the five-point game going into fourth. And now we don't have the lead. And now it's way closer than it should be. But the boys pull away. The boys pull away. I don't know who it was. Oh, it was Luca. I don't know who it was. But we've pulled away. Okay, so now we're back at Washington, D.C. with it. We This is the first game of the series where we won the first quarter. So that's promising. We're forcing a game seven. We are almost there, y'all. 165 points in regulation is ridiculous. Luca with a 45-point triple-double with just one turnover. And that is why we traded LeBron for him because he does stuff like this. LeBron is past these type of stat lines, man. And Tatum also had a double-double with assist with zero turnovers. We had, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Game, game seven. Back in Milwaukee with it. First quarter is won by us. Second quarter, they are dominating. They are up by seven halfway through the, the third. Okay, four-point game. Four-point game. Three-point game in the fourth. Yo, don't you do it. Three minutes to go. Down by one. Down by five. Down by one! It's back down by one. We jump in. We jump into these. We jump into these. We jump into these and pray that that the, the boys can get it done. Of course, I don't play these. We just hit a simulate and watch. Um, yeah, I just got to make sure this is the right lineup out there. Okay, that is literally our starting lineup. Okay, so we feel good. All right, luckily 2K ain't selling us. This is the stop of the, of the game, Joel. It's, oh, wait. I said Joel like I'm rooting for him. That was supposed to be the stop on Joel, but instead... It's not, and it's just back to a three-point game. Set a screen, bam, on the bio. Luca's trying to post up Klay Thompson. Uh-huh. Luca fader. No good. Bam. Right back up on Joel Embiid. I knew it wasn't a good shot when it left his hands. They got Drew Eubanks in the game right now. Why are we not exploiting that with Jason Tatum or who's whoever he's supposed to be guarding? Why are we not exploiting that? Malcolm Bryant with the ball. This is a critical possession. I just don't see it going in our way. I've already accepted defeat. Look at this matchup right here. Oh, Joel Embiid is trying to be Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Thank you for that. Tatum, go down and dunk the ball. Just take it yourself. Don't even... Okay, all right. Ah, oh, three release! Jason Tatum! I did not like that shot leaving his hands. I swear to you, I did not like that shot leave, leaving his hands. But it is a tie game! In transition, Jason Tatum just pulled off the... And he hit the sh hit the shot. These were on sale for a little bit. Y'all missed out. He hit the shot. Speaking of that, these hats went on sale again today. It was very limited. They might be sold out by you time you watch this video. But if they're not sold out, hit the link in the description, man. Go get you a, a Enjoy Basketball hat. Here we go. 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 Stop here, bucket. We got a timeout, so we just get the rebound and, and call it. 
Malcolm Brogdon with the ball. They're going to try to force feed it to 21. You know they are. There he is. There he is. One of the best in our game. Bam. Forced him to do another turn fade away. And this time it's cash. This time it's cash. Joel Embiid. All right. Okay. Um, I would say get the ball in, in, in Tatum's hands because he's guarded by Marvin Bagley. I don't like the, this dribbling out the clock for the last shot stuff where you're down by two. We're going to do something. It's five seconds on the clock. Tyrese passes it to Luka last second. Why is everybody posting? Oh, he got the foul! He got the foul! Luka Doncic got the chance to send it to overtime with these free throws. The first one is up, MVP. Luka's good. One more Luke. One more Luke. Send it to OT, baby. Send it to OT. The second one is up, and he hits it. Green releases on both ones. Just, why are we not playing up? Why are we not playing up? Why are we not playing up? Oh my God, he hit it. No, he didn't. All right, overtime. Luka draws the foul. And just like that, we are going... To OT. Now, of course, we're not watching all five minutes of OT, so we will go back to Simcasting and hope that it's not close, that we don't got to jump back in because that is stressful. All right, Simcasting, baby. All right, tie game again. There's the Bucks, though. It's back to close. Two point game with a minute to go. The Bucks are, it's tied with seven seconds. Is it our ball? It is our ball. It's our ball. Tie game with, with seven seconds to go. And what is the camera? What is the camera doing? Hold on, that's not what we stand up for. What is the camera doing? 2K cam. It's not letting me get my normal camera. What the heck is... I feel like I'm sitting above everybody. The shot didn't go in, and they call time. What is the camera angle, 2K? Bad possession, by the way. Can we agree? 0.7 on the clock. That is more than enough time to get a real shot off. So they're not going to be looking at the rim. They're going to be looking for... For... Good steal, Luke. Not a single second, not a half a second, not a tenth of a second. Went off the clock right there. Oh, I can't see. This is they're not giving me the real camera angle. I don't know what's happening. Did they get the shot off? I don't know. I don't know. He missed it. Alright, double overtime. Alright, Simcast, uh, second overtime. Just I just want them to run away with it, but instead we're losing. It's over. Boys, the dream is over. The dream is over. The dream is over. The dream is over. Joel gave us 46, 14, and 7. Clay had a performance. And we lost. Wow. 41 minutes for Mikael Bridges. He had eight shot attempts and five points. We lost. We lost. We lost. We lost. We lost. No room for error for sure because that 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 is a tragic way to end it. That is a tragic way to end it. Are they going to win the championship? The answer is no. They're going to get eliminated to Jimmy Butler. And Jimmy Butler is going to get eliminated to Paul George. And got swept at that. I'm disappointed. Comment down below your Twitter account. And uh, we'll pick somebody to win.